I usually train covered up. I wear, I wear a sweatshirt in the gym or, and shorts and uh, train as I'm comfortable, but it's not important for my ego to be oogled and admired uh, constantly every day and to have my physique perused each time I come into the gym. I'm there to do something for myself and to use the time as economically as possible. in and I see this cover and there's Arnold sort of like with a dumbbell over his head grimacing and I thought I'd already been weight training a little bit I thought oh that's interesting and um, so I very rapidly made this shift uh, and began to train very seriously through the strength of this discipline and this dedication that I think I was able to find that that uh, inner strength. I always have, have often said that, you know, for me, the training was as much an inside process as it was an outside process. I feel great. I, I can't tell you how I feel. It's a really, um, it's a whole year buildup, and it's released all in one day. And I really feel good. What's the first thing you do after a contest now? <sighs> Relax a little bit. <laughs> but now, you know, you have the world championships in a couple weeks, so it's back in the gym tomorrow. When I'm training, I'm picturing that perfect physique and trying to attain that. Um, if that happens to coincide with what the judges want, then that's fantastic. I can cross over to a general public market and appeal to not only the hardcore bodybuilding fan, which I am very much a hardcore bodybuilder, but also to, to the artistic fan and to the person walking down the street uh, won't be offended by, by my physique, but yet it can still, it still has the ability to be a Mr. Olympia.